Now I'm going to show you how to actually display to the player how much health they have and how many lives they have left. So far the game does work with the functioning health and lives. Um, you can see I have a controller here. Um, there's lots of ways to do this, but this is how I do it. Um, in its create event, it sets the lives to 3 and sets the health to 100. Then every step of the way, it's checking if health is less than 1. Uh, set the lives relative to minus 1, or another, in other words, subtract 1. Uh, the reason I say smaller than 1 here is uh, not everything subtracts things that make it end up at 0. So if they were subtracting 3 health from uh, 100, you would never actually get to 0. You would just go from the positive straight to the negatives. Um, so that's why I say smaller than 1. It uh, prevents that glitch down the road. Uh, if lives are equal to zero, it's going to say a message and then restart the game. So let's just verify that that is in fact working. So here's my Octorok. I already have it programmed so when I collide with these guys I lose 20 health. So now I think I have, what, 60 because I've subtracted 20 and 20 from 100. And then 40, 20, and oh, zero. So it did tell me game over. However, the player doesn't really know how much health they have while they're playing. It's kind of useful information to have. So, let's fix that. Oh, and I just realized something else. It should not have told me game over when I lost one life. Do you know why that may have happened? Well, let's check it again. Every step of the way, if my health goes below one, I lose a life. Well, the problem is, after I lose that life, the next step of the way, it says, oh, health is still smaller than one, let's subtract another life. When I lose a life, I should probably get my health reset back up to 100. And so that was the critical error inside there, so let's fix that. After I set the life down one, we're going to set this right back up. Not relative, we want to set it right to the number 100. Now, we're also going to draw the uh, health and lives on the screen. And so inside my controller, again, I'm going to add an event, and it's just called a draw event. They could have called it display event, too, because all it's really going to do is display things for the player. So under our score, we want to tell it, hey, I want you to tell me how many lives I have. Now. As you recall inside Game Maker, if I draw you a quick little box that represents our screen, the XY position starts right up here in the corner, right there. So that is zero, zero. And then X gets bigger as it goes this way, and Y gets bigger as it goes down this way. So where should we have our lives? Well, if we decide, well, I want the lives to display about right in here somewhere. We'd say, okay, if the room is, uh, let's say, 600 pixels or so, that'd be about 300. Let's say we wanted about oh, 80 pixels over and about 80 pixels down. That'll place it right in there somewhere. So let's try that, and you can experiment with these numbers to move it around. And we'll say, okay. And we also want to display the health or draw the health. Now, this one's a little trickier because we have all these numbers and such. Well, if you think of a health bar, and I'll draw you a little health bar here, imagine that this left edge is the x1, and the right edge is the x2. Okay, then the top edge would be your Y1, and the bottom edge would be the Y2. So, if you're confused, all you need to know is, where do you want the left edge of the health bar, and where do you want the right edge of the health bar? That determines how wide the health bar is. It kind of stretches it to fit that uh, uh, size, whatever you tell it to be. So, if our, if you recall our lives, are at 8080, which puts it somewhere around here in the room. Let's say we want the health bar above that. So let's make it, uh, say, about 
80 pixels in, except we're not going to go as far down. So let's say 80 pixels will be the left edge of our health bar, and the right edge of our health bar will be, if we wanted 100 pixels wide, we would just add 100 to the first number. And then the Y, let's say we want it to be, our last one was 80 down, so let's start this one at about 40 down and end it at about uh, 70 down. That makes it about 30 pixels tall. And then you can pick whatever colors you like. I'm going to make my background color uh, red and my bar color silver. Let's try that. Say we already have our controller object in the room, so it should actually show up. Let's see what this looks like. Hey, not too bad. We do have it uh, inside the room here is our X1 and X2 and Y1 and Y2. And then we told this to show up at 80 uh, pixels, 80 by 80. So you see I lost 20, I lost 20 more, lost 20 more, and boom, I lost a life and my health is replenished. Thank goodness. And apparently I don't have enough guys to actually lose all of my health so we're gonna have to add a couple of guys into our room so I can actually uh, lose all of my health which is great for testing of course uh, control shift will allow me to drag that now we got plenty of guys let's try that again and good we lost the health lost a life lost the health lost a life and we're out game over and then it restarts us so hey that works pretty good let's say I want to shift this over just a little bit I could change my x1 value to be a little bit less and my lives value so just to show you what that looks like uh, let's go back into here our draw event draw the health bar let's say the first x number let's make it only about 40 and the second X number, I'm going to make that only about 100. And I thought the health bar was a little tall, so the difference between Y1 and Y2 might be a little bit much. So let's change this to like, oh, 60. Let's try that. And now draw the number of lives. I want to move that over to the left. The height was good, or the distance from the top. What I'm talking about here is, I thought it was the right distance down but I think it should move to the left a little bit so when we're talking left right we're talking X so let's make that only about 40 as well that should shift everything over let's try that again yeah, it looks pretty good now it's kinda up in the corner there it looks pretty sharp everything works pretty good have fun displaying all these wonderful things. You can actually display all kinds of variables, not just your health and lives, uh, but we'll get into that in a different video.